Welcome to Picture Book Chat, where we feature a handful of new picture books each month and discuss what makes them great. Whether you're a parent, caregiver, or teacher, you're bound to find some wonderful reading suggestions from librarians Mary Ellen Brax and Sherry Boggs. Hi, welcome to Picture Book Chat. I'm Mary Ellen Brax, and with me today is Sherry Boggs. Hello. And we're here to talk about some picture books with you today. Yes. So what do we want to start with today? I, I think Baby Feels. I think so. That looks great. Yeah. So this is a board book. Um, great for babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's um, full of babies. I love this. This talks about different feelings. Um, I love that the word is like big on the page. I just... Everything kind of about the design of this book is great. And I ordered it last summer, and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come out. It got delayed at the publisher. It's finally mm -hmm. here. I'm so excited. Sad. Oh, my gosh. And I just love that the colors even kind mm -hmm. of match the mood. <laughs> Very <Yes>. sad. <laughs> um, and it's got kind of some new ones in here. Like, let me find frustrated. frustrated. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's like, that's so relatable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but I just thought it was great, and I wanted to talk to you about it because from an early learning perspective, mm -hmm. um, like I know books for babies, it's great if they have high contrast mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of big images. How do you feel about this one for babies? You know, I think it'll still appeal because um, babies love to see pictures of other babies. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and so um, maybe not the youngest of babies, but starting at about six months or mm -hmm. so, yeah. eight months, I think this would be a good one. I also think this is a great book for toddlers, too, yeah, because it names that feeling. And oftentimes when toddlers have their temper <laughs> tantrums, it's because they don't have the words to express <laughs> how they're feeling. And, you know, they're not able to put the, you know, they're just learning language. So mm -hmm. um, I think this would be a good one for, for that. Um, too. So it would be good if, you know, if you're a child care provider and you're starting a unit on social emotional, on our own feelings, you know, this would be a good one for especially older toddlers to use with them because it's very simple and they can relate to the, you know, to the oh, pictures, yeah. I think. And can we talk about how adorable these oh babies my gosh. are? They're killing me. <laughs> And like proud is something that you don't see. And like, so you could ask, you know, even like a young preschool or a young three, why do you think um, they're so proud, you know? And you can talk about, yeah. oh, well, they built that big tower of blocks. So there's some things that that you can talk about. How do you feel when you're frustrated? <laughs> what do you do? Um, yeah. So, and you can talk about asking for help or telling somebody that you're hungry. So I think, I, I, I thought this was really nice. And I really did like the color story of it, too. So yeah. it's a little different um, than what we've seen in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and as we were, as you were paging through it just now, I noticed some things that you could do with toddlers, too, like the page where... They're frustrated. Like you can talk about yeah, shapes. shapes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, on this page, you can identify the different foods. foods. So there's kind of. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Um, there's a lot you can kind of do with this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. More than it looks like when you first look at it. And it looks like it's part of a series. Yeah. Of Baby Can. Yeah. Um, so that would be um, fun to collect them all. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we've got the barcode on the back that you can scan to to get right to our catalog. Yeah, get a hold on this. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, I was I was really pleased with it. And yeah, thought it was really cute. I would definitely use it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I like this one a lot. That's mm -hmm. baby feels. Yes. What's next, Mary Ellen? Well, this one is so much fun. Gosh. It's cat side up, cat side down. A Book of Prepositions, and it's by Anna, and I'm going to try to say her name, and I apologize if I get it wrong. <laughs> Horachovic, oh, I think is how you say it. Nice. <laughs> um, so um, I practiced last night. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure. It's so cute. Well, she has an entire website of these oh. knitted um, cats, and so it's called Mochi Mochi Land. And so um, she's oh, got knitting patterns. and there's knitting <laughs> patterns too that she has. So Fun. this is um, using prepositions, but with all using little cat knitted figures. 
And um, when you talk about prepositions, the reason why I really like this is really good for STEM mm -hmm. because in math because you are um, talking about you need to know above and below and next to and so it, it's really good for that. But they go cap side up and there's a kitty in the basket and then cap side, cat side down and the kitty is, you know, head first into a bucket. Um, so great vocabulary in here. Yeah. Um, they talk about a cat on a turntable, which you may need to talk about with kids what that <laughs> is actually. But, you know, they're making a comeback now. Yeah. Um, under a piano. <laughs> over the moon, and everything in here is knitted and there's lots of light oh spa gosh. white space behind it so they really pop. Swept high and away by a cat-shaped balloon. So there's some rhyming in the text too, which mm -hmm. I really like. Um, so I think kids will really <laughs> love this. Here's another vocabulary word, lolling about on some catnip nearby. <laughs> you might funny. need to explain what that is, but... Um, but yeah, prepositions are really important when you're talking about math too. But um, they tell you what prepositions are on the back page here, and then they give you a few more prepositional words. So above, across, against, hence, minus, off, out, past, <laughs> plus, um, upon, with. So um, yeah, I thought this was a really good one to use. It would be a good um, one to use for a unit on math even. Um, you could do something with cats. Yes. You could do something <laughs> with rhyming. I mean, so I see a lot of different ways you could use um, this book, but I was pretty impressed with it. What did you think? Same, I, of course, like, I'm a knitter, so I was just yeah. like, oh my god, look at that cat. Um, and just so impressed by the crafts in there. And I feel like kids, um, when you see real life textures and mm -hmm. books like this, like I think that's just riveting mm -hmm. to kids. Um, so I thought that was just going to suck them in. I loved the sense of whimsy mm -hmm. throughout. Um, like I love that it's a book that teaches you prepositions, but it's also so playful. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I just even the composition of some yeah. of these, like there's just so much imagination that they bring to it. Um, and I just think there's a lot of fun you could have sharing this book with kids, just talking about what's going on here. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, what is this? And you yeah. know, what's this? Yeah. Do we have this in our house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's that kitty doing? And for some of them you can even um act them out too. Mm -hmm. So you know what next to somebody is. Or... Yeah. Inside yeah, these a basket. Look like toys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I thought, that, like, the vocabulary is amazing. Like, in this one, it's apart from the crowd in a neon green shrug. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you can talk about, like, what a shrug is. Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. about some of the clothing items. Um, mm. I just, I love everything about this. And yeah. I hope that this is not the last we see of this author. Yeah. I hope she does some more picture books because mm -hmm. this is fantastic. Yeah, that is great. And I just think of how much time it must have taken her oh to gosh. knit all those little pieces yeah. to put this together. So, um, yeah, I thought I thought this was a fun one. Yeah. A little different perspective. And um, I think that would be a good one to introduce yeah. to kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think, preschool? Preschool, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, let's show you the ISBN. So yeah. yeah. You can scan that place a hold. Also gives us a chance to look at these cute little kitties on the back of the book. Yeah. I always look at the back cover <laughs> and the end papers. Oh, yeah. This has got boring end papers, but yeah. the inside more than makes up for it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> In our quest to inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators, the library offers a wide range of programs and resources on science, technology, engineering, and math, together referred to as STEM. For young explorers, our STEM programs ignite imagination and hands-on learning. Did you know you can design your own video game, code a robot, create a marble roller coaster, or try out exciting science experiments? Together, we make STEM fun. Your library also has STEM resources you can explore at home. You can check out books on great STEM topics and borrow cool stuff, like telescopes and exploration kits from our library of things. Unleash your creativity, foster innovation, and explore all that Spokane County Library District has to offer. We invite you to visit one of our libraries today. 
Our next one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the only way to make bread. <laughs> such a fun one. Love it. Yeah. Um, first off, such an engaging cover. I mm-hmm. like these little miniature figures with the measuring cups and kind of all that stuff in the kitchen that kids like to play with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but then I also, I love the concept of, you know, there being one way to make bread and yeah. families kind of have like their favorite kind of bread or like the one recipe that, you know, their parents make or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, great end papers mm-hmm. yeah. on this. You can talk about all the oh things gosh. that they're using. Yeah. So that's great for vocabulary. Yeah. And, you know, stuff you find in your own kitchen. Mm-hmm. So there's like things you can play with. Um, the colors in this are amazing. Oh, yeah. It's mm-hmm. just like all those warm kind of bread, mm-hmm. <laughs> bread yeah. hues. Um, I love the diversity of the families mm-hmm. in this book. Um, and I love how they kind of talk about the process of making bread, you know, in a real general way. Like there's mm-hmm. there's flour, there's liquid, yeah. you know, but then you see throughout like you can mix in a bit of this and finish with a splash of that. You can personalize mm-hmm. the bread. Um, on this page, they're talking about using your hands. You can also use a rolling pin. So, right. you know, it kind of talks about how cultures all over the world kind of have their different forms of bread. Um you know, sometimes they're flat, sometimes they're like little balls, sometimes, you know, it's your average loaf shape. Um, Mm -hmm. But I just think this is really fun. What did you think? Oh, I thought it was great. I, you know, you could, I think you could use this with preschool and up Mm -hmm. um, into the, um, like kindergarten, first, second grade too. Um, I love that. And every, like, it's like, making bread is a community thing because yeah. every page has more than one person on it for the most part and that yeah. they're cooking together, which I really liked. And I like the, you know, different families showing, you know, different breads that they're making. Um, the other thing I really loved about this book is the back of it. They oh, talk yeah. about different <laughs> kinds of bread here, um, which I thought was great. So this would be good for a cooking unit. Um, and then you have two recipes back here. And I was looking at the everything yesterday thinking, do I have enough <laughs> stuff at home to make one of these? Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I needed oh, to yeah. go out and grab a few things. But, yeah, I thought this would be really fun to to try some of these and just see how, how they are. Yeah. But they look delicious. Um, so, yeah, I, um, yeah, I too love the color scheme theme of the whole book. Yeah. And yeah, it just has that warm bread feeling. Yeah. Um, and I love, you know, up here, like you can, the details in it, like you just see mm-hmm. this wonderful loaf of French right. bread and mm-hmm. it's just so engaging. Yeah. And you've got a diverse, um, background mm-hmm. of families and people and um i think that's really nice to see <laughs> and yeah just some great I, I love the illustrations i love the expressions on everybody's faces so i thought this turned out really nice so um yeah i would love to use it with a classroom mm-hmm. too and, oh yeah and t- you know if you're talking about nutrition even you can talk about bread and all the different kinds of breads there are so i thought this one might be a big hit with you know between preschool and like second grade yeah Mm -hmm. definitely but yeah it's beautiful i think they did a great job on that so yeah i hope they come out with more yeah me too Mm -hmm. i was just gonna look at the back and see um i'm not familiar with either this Mm -hmm. author or illustrator so this might be one of their first efforts yeah um but yeah, like you i love the communal sense i love that the family animals are getting Mm -hmm. in on it and yeah yeah, it's just so much fun. Mm-hmm. So that good is pick. the only way to make bread. There's more bread on the back. Yeah. <laughs> along with this ISBN. Yeah. All right. Such a nice one. And then our last book today mm-hmm. is Little Land. And so this is a gorgeous book. Um, and this is great for a nature unit. Um, the... the um, End papers are just gorgeous, so there's lots to talk about in here. What do you see? Um, but it talks about um, just that there's a little bit of land and basically how land came about and um, and what all is on it on the piece of land. Um, the theme is has an environmental nature theme, so it would go good with that. Um, and then, but the illustrations in here are yeah. gorgeous and the color story. Um, so it goes back in history 
um, like 60 million, 67 million years ago, a little bit like this, and they show the dinosaurs and the volcano and then how life began. And um, just looking at the detail in the sky here when you see different animals through there and different things in nature. Um, but there's some great pictures in here. Like this one is so um, interesting, just the way it moves on the page too. Yeah. But this was talking about fire beforehand. And oh, that yeah. page was pretty spectacular too. The one thing I will say with this book is that you do need to read it a couple of times before you read it out loud to a group mm -hmm. because the words are placed in different spots on the page so it can be kind of hard to find that follow you know when you're reading it out loud you want to make point. sure you know where the words are and where it begins but I mean that spread is just gorgeous I also like that um, you always see below the ground mm -hmm. too I thought that was really interesting yeah. what was going on below but what are your thoughts now that oh I've God. gushed about the book? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no I love this one and I I've looked at it a couple of times, and even as you're paging through, I'm seeing some new things. Mm -hmm. And I love that here you're seeing the shapes of the ammonites mm -hmm. that you see right here. And I love that it gives that sense of of evolution, like how nature, you know, it's like dies and is mm -hmm. born, and you know that animals feed each other. There's another page where you see like a grizzly, yeah, mm -hmm. eating a, a fish. Mm -hmm. um, and it just like what I also was really taken by in this book is that it kind of talks about the relationship of humans to nature mm -hmm. um, and that we're kind of part of this big web and this, you know, plot of land that they're talking about, you know, feeds us and takes care of us. And then, you know, it kind of goes on to, you yeah, know, like, like <laughs> yeah. where we are now, yeah, which yeah. is, you know, like we've kind of outpaced Mm -hmm. nature we've and, covered the land yeah you know, basically our houses and yeah our pollution mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um, and i think you know like with everything in the news kids can have a lot of questions mm -hmm. and have a lot of worry and this book kind of goes into what is scary actually it really does mm -hmm. um and i love this page but even when things seem unstoppable unrecognizable and beyond repair look closely and listen to, and it shows kids, you know, like planting things and mm -hmm. like noticing the butterflies and, mm -hmm. you know, and it might seem is... simplistic, but I, I think this is such a reassuring yeah. message that, you know, that you, there are things that we can mm -hmm. do um, to still create beauty and take care of mm -hmm. the planet. Yes. Things will happen, but you'll begin anew again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, and then they talk about, do you know a little bit of land? So you could, you know, even if you were starting a gardening unit or something, you could use this to do, start that and talk mm -hmm. about, well, do you have a little piece of land or, you know, do you have, like, do you plant anything in pots in your house? If, you know, if you have kids that live in apartments and um, do you go, do you have a park nearby? Mm -hmm. um, where would you go? Um, they even talk about a crack in the sidewalk, which yeah. I thought was great. <laughs> um, and yes, and then they talk about, yeah, this last page. And when you give love to something, it will give back to you. Yeah, just and so gorgeous. just about taking care of the land. And then the author's oh, yeah. note at the back was great because they do define some words and concepts that they were looking at in this book. Um, and then they talk about some of the animals too. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then they talk about different periods um, of the earth during that time. And they give you some more resources too, in case yeah. kids have more questions. So yeah, I thought it was um, very nicely done. I will say, I think this is for older preschool, yeah. K one, two, um, mm -hmm. just because of the concept of it. Not that younger kids wouldn't love looking through the pictures of it, since there are some dinosaurs in here. Yeah, It'll have some appeal. Um, but um, yeah, I, I thought this was a really nice area. And I just wanted to point out, yeah, one of the pages here, you could really see where the words are in oh. different <laughs> spots. So um, yeah, that's the only thing I would say if you were reading it to a group of kids to, you know, read through it a couple of times so you know where the words go mm -hmm. on the page. <laughs> um, but 
it's so nice, and it, I think you, it's nice for a group, but it's nice for one on one too, because mm -hmm. then you can really look at the detail yeah. in the picture too. So yeah, I thought this was it was really beautiful. I was very impressed with it. Yeah, yeah, I was too. Um, and we've done one of this illustrator's books before. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was Would You Come To? I can't remember oh, when we did yeah. that. It was maybe a year or so mm -hmm. ago. But um, I love that they're doing books mm -hmm. still. You know, like the art right. is just so stunning. Yes. So, yeah, lots of different things to look at in this one. So, yeah. again, that was Little Land. And... Um, here is the ISBN in the back, so you can put a hold on it and take a look at it yourself. Yeah. So, great selection of books, Sherry. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Always a pleasure to talk about these. Um, yeah, these are mm -hmm. wonderful. I yes. love them. So, we had everything from babies on up to the older grades in this we one. <laughs> so, there's something for everyone. So, we hope um, you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time on Picture Book Chat. Bye. Bye.